Welcome back to the Flex Tapes and tonight we are camping out in a special location. Let's go. Tonight you join us in no other than Alcan, the first factory building I ever explored. The original video and the link to this video is in the description so go and check them out if you haven't already. But the reason we are in this place is because of the history and what's gone on here in the past. This place was built in 1940 and it was used heavily during World War II. It was even painted camouflage to protect it from overhead bombing. Now this place is incredible for many reasons. This place actually built parts for the Spitfire, Concorde and the Space Shuttle, not to mention parts for automotive and roads. There is a lot of history in here. Now it was Alcan, it was high duty alloys and then it was taken over by Pacini Avitube until 2007 when the plant actually moved to France. Now what is left today is a sad mirror memory of fun times that had came. Now we are actually camping out in the scientist part, the laboratory. Now the reason behind this is, is there's more history in that part, plus the corridors are bigger and we have two tents. So, get ready and join us for an epic night of camping. Really? Yeah. You didn't take me for a crystal kind of guy. Surprise you haven't got a Yankee candle with you. Well, I really do. Well, I've got, I've got sage. Oh. Yeah, well, obviously we're going to that uh, poltergeist house. We're sleeping at a poltergeist she house. She did say don't use sage. Well, I'm bringing it. I've got three amethysts and a smoky quartz uh, pillar crystals. I haven't got any. Chunky fingers, these aren't they? I haven't got any. And we've already got the potatoes on, ready. It's gonna take a while, so just get them on early before we start the paranormal. You're looking forward to a potato. I can't wait for potatoes. Do you realise they are? It's probably gonna be the best potato you ever had. Well, I'll be the judge of that, guys. And then. Once you've eaten it, every other potato is going to feel so inferior, you're going to crave dance potatoes. How am I going to cope in life? You're not. You're not. More camping, more what, camping. What did, you, what, did you, what did you say? It's the best one I've ever had in my life. And you're never going to be able to have one again the same? I had you're one. Have it the same. I had one the day after and it wasn't as good. <laughs> Seriously. I tried to recreate it. <laughs> it didn't work. After a nice chilled set up, tense, ready, the fire's ready, jack of potatoes are ready, and I've got to admit, Dan's jack of potatoes are amazing by the way. We get ready, we chill down, and we get ready to go for a walk around, and I pull out the night vision camera, and we go and do some calling out, we go and do some bits and pieces. Ready? Yeah. They're ready. Let's go. 
Oh, you won't have seen this. It's one of the only remaining presses left. Hydraulic press. And I think it was basically used to test the strength of the aluminium to see at what pressure it would actually crush. Right, so whereabouts are you thinking of the first? Um, I think the main, where the main entrance is. Right, okay. Yeah, where the fire was. Are you picking anything up around here? What are you? The only thing I visualised before was almost, you know, like a trolley, a long one, but like a metal one and almost like squeaky wheels. Mm. Yeah. Sort of like what I could visualise in here before. Mm. Like there was sadness around here. Sadness. Yeah. Like all of a sudden here. Like. Tell you what, Flex, watch. Tree that lottery does wave. Yeah. And we'll just. Yeah, definitely. Follow where she. Her senses to take her. Definitely. Yeah. lonely here she was also lonely at home which meant she didn't really want to leave here it was lonely but it was comforting okay. but she was death like an overwhelming sadness mm. actually yeah mm. do you think we could maybe even get her to touch this yeah <coughs> uh, the lady that I'm picking up on in here um, would you just be able to go over to this machine over here with the red light just so we know that you're here and you want to communicate? Or if not that way, can you make a noise so we know that you're here? It might sound really random, but I feel like she's there. That's to me. Not there. Like she's in that corner. Okay, well, if uh, the lady in the corner would like to let us know that you there, my name is Dan, I mean, you're no harm at all. That you're here. I keep hearing like a. Are you? It's a bang, but it's like a, a loud foot. Like a foot yeah. that way. Yeah, but it's like whatever it is, it's echoing through the hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But almost from this way. Yeah. You know, the only issue is this place is a massive factory mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pieces hanging off it. Yeah. Which could cause sort of bangs. Mm -hmm. My main concern with the bangs like that is someone's breaking something somewhere. Right, okay. There's any spirits present? Can you make us aware that you're in this room?
Again, hello, my name is Dan. I mean you absolutely no harm at all. We're here to help. If you want helping, or if you need someone to speak to, we're also here to talk to. All we ask is you make a noise, or head over to this, on this table, or on this filing cabinet, go towards the red light. So you need to do, go towards it like this, and the closer you get, you can change the colours. I would definitely know that you're here if you get close to that. Otherwise, we'll have to move on somewhere else. And I don't suppose you get this opportunity much. Why are you picking up one down there? Because you're picking up one down uh, there. No, I, it's just that corridor, I don't like it. Why? It, it, every time I go down there. Like, what is it you're sensing? Because I can tell by your face or something. I just... Because you haven't stopped staring. I just, I don't know, I always feel like there's somebody down there. All the time. Mm -hmm. I always have done. Every time I walk down there, it's like someone's behind us. Okay. All the time. <clears throat> At the end or...? In the, the middle. Point? In the middle of the yeah. <clears throat> So what, near like this here? About there. Right here? I always get that kind of thing. It's always in this corridor, it's never anywhere no. else. It's always here. Can I just feel like it's watched? Yeah. It's kind of like a, like, like a strong feeling in my chest. Um, Anxiety or as though you think something might happen to a spirit? Or to be honest, I feel sad. Sad? Yeah, I, don't, I always do in here, mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel, I feel like I could happily cry. That's how I felt really yeah. around. I felt like that before. I always get that sense of feeling in here. That's what I felt when I that room. I felt like I wanted to cry. Mm. Like, so, some of them rooms down there, when I walk in them, it's like I'm walking through um, like cotton wool. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Mm. Well, that's kind of how it feels. It's like walking through other people's emotions. Yeah. Yeah. It feels thick. Yeah. yeah. Like the atmosphere feels thick. Yeah. And then in some parts it just feels like there's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Yeah, I want to Okay, so if you don't want to say hello, or tell your name, if you need help, Please clearly say help, and then we'll know what to do. Someone said, someone said, said the blobs come out. I thought I said the dogs come out. That's what's happening. It's definitely something coming out. What's coming out? Can you tell us what's coming out? Is 
Is that you still over there? Is it the gentleman that said he was coming alive? Repeat the time for now. If you have that much energy to set that off, surely you can set off the device next to it as well. That way it's undeniable that you are there. All we need, both of them to go off at the same time, is all we need. That's not normal. No. Come on, you can do it. You can set that other one off. You keep repeating that, but are you a male? If you're a male, can you just go near the other, the other um, object to the side? We survived again. Yeah. <laughs> we always survive these things. Yeah. Oh, that fire is nice and warm. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's well cozy, me. <laughs> Sleep it out. Thank you.